All right, now Jason Mitchell, which is the straight out of Compton actor that played Easy E, broke down, got pissed off, and went off. Honey showed up and showed out on this Delta flight. Now officials said that they did not overbook his flight, which is what he was originally saying. He missed his flight, and then he had to go into what's called a Comfort Plus seating. He was first in first class seating. Anyways, so he went insane after somebody was sitting in his seat. He was seen cussing out flight attendants and the pilot for that matter. He called the man a pussy and of course said that he would fuck him up. Fuck you this and F you that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just cussing. Anyways, there were witnesses that said that he got off the plane and police had to get involved. Now, what happened was this man ended up getting on the flight. Okay. He had to sit in an economy seat because he missed his original flight. He was on the phone. He was talking to somebody about it and I'm sure he wasn't being nice about it on the phone. And some guy interrupted him and decided to make a comment. So he said, am I talking to you? Effing racist and called the man a racist. Okay. Now, obviously this man was not a man of his skin color. And see, this is what I don't understand. Why did you even say anything? If you already see somebody is disgruntled and already upset, leave the person alone. Don't antagonize somebody that's already upset. But anyways, this guy decided to chime in and Jason Mitchell called him an effing racist. So the flight attendant came up. And, of course, Jason started going completely berserk once he saw the flight attendant come up. He told the person, the guy that he called the effing racist, he said, I'll beat the F out of you unless you sit next to children or anything else, honey, anything, dog, woman, child, honey, okay, lizard, anything else. Anyways, he ended up calming down right after that because he's bipolar, honey. Believe that with this behavior, child. So he calmed down and he was telling them, oh, I'm going to be cool. I'm going to be calm. He puts his headphones on so he could Netflix and chill while he on the plane, honey. But then a staff member came up with the police. The plane had to dock so the police could deal with him. And he went into a complete rage at this point. He lost his mind. He was flying standby because he ended up missing his flight. And then he ended up getting detained. Okay. Now he was detained, but Delta refused to press charges. You know, Delta has been in a lot of headlines this year. Jackie's who got kicked off a of flight for beefing with a passenger. The Migos got kicked off a Delta flight claiming that it was racial profiling. So this is not the first time Delta has run into something of this nature, but honey, it's a mess. Now, my question for y'all is, okay, if you were the guy he called the effing racist and you heard this man going off, would you have said something to him? Would you have said anything or would you have minded your own business as to not be a part of the ruckus? And what do you think about him acting a fool on this flight anyways, knowing that Delta has a reputation for kicking people off of their flights and being flagged for racial profiling? In this instance, this was all his fault. Nobody racially profiled this man. You missed your first class flight. At least they got you bumped up into Comfort Plus. That's the way I feel. Sometimes you lose your humility. But as for this young man, you're just now getting into the spotlight and you're already making a bad reputation for yourself. I'm going to have to ask both of y'all, Delta and your ass, to calm down. Now, y'all let me know your thoughts. Make sure you leave your comments, like, and subscribe.
I don't give a fuck. I'm not sitting in my seat anyways. I'll back the fuck out you. Unless you sit next to children or anything else, I'll... Boy, no, 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 man. I'm not moving. No, I'm not moving. No, fuck these people. I will smack the fuck out here, Josh. You know what, man? I'm, you know what? I'm going to get off the phone and I'm going to show Everything is fine. I'm going to be, you know, because I got to work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go. Josh, I love you. Bye. You say something else to me, I'm going to smack the fuck out you. Quick that. I'm good. As long as this pussy don't sit like that. What you fuck? What I just said? Quick that. Quick that. You don't know what the fuck I'm going through while you're in my fucking conversation. Pussy. I mean, you make this all part of your conversation. Exactly. So what the fuck did I say? I don't give a shit. Man. Exactly. Because you ain't in my fucking conversation. Pussy. So shit. Quit that way. Just gonna have a play. As long as you look that way, we good. I ain't got nothing else to say. I'm going to go to sleep. I swear I'm going to be good. But I pay for a first class seat. And I work for Delta. I do all this shit. I pay my money. And I made my flight on time. No, you don't. No, no, no. I will smack the fuck out him if he say something else to you. So let's do this. No, you got curtains or something, you can close this off. Don't you got to wait to close first class off? Throw some away from you. As long as he don't... No. Ma'am, are you listening? Are you listening? As long as he don't say nothing else to you. I'm gonna get off the plane. Why you gonna make everybody get off the plane? What you doing? Why you doing that? Why you doing that? You wanna see my no, I want y'all to see my proof. Because I paid for my shit. Why the fuck you doing that to everybody else?